Sawadee Kap and welcome to Thailand News Today. Apologies to start with for our posting on YouTube on Friday. We had a few technical problems. Hopefully this week we've got that all sorted out. We're on YouTube and Facebook every day. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But for now, let's see what's happening in today's news. Gunman in Thailand's Patani province in the south shot dead an assistant village headman yesterday whilst he was exercising in a playground. Patani, Naritawat and Yala are home to Thailand's two decade long southern insurgency. The drive by shooting occurred at a playground in front of a football field in the Tambon Yarang. Witnesses say the man was using the exercise equipment when four men pulled up on two motorcycles, opened fire at the man with a pistol, hitting him three times in the body, killing him instantly. The gunman fled immediately after the attack. The suicide letter from a former Yala judge who took his own life in Chiang Mai over the weekend has raised concerns over the independence of the Thai judiciary system. Kanakon Pianchana, previously the head of the trial court at the Yala Provincial Court in southern Thailand, took his own life on Saturday in his Chiang Mai residence. He posted a two-page letter dated March the 6th titled Kanakon October, which he posted on his Facebook page. The letter mentioned the incident last October when he shot himself in the Yala courtroom after begrudgingly reading a ruling he said had been influenced by a senior judge. His letter continued to criticise the independence of Thai judges. The International Surf Lifesaving Association has just released a new document. It's called Lost at Sea, Thailand. The study highlights the dangers of the moody Andaman Sea that surrounds the island of Phuket in southern Thailand. The document notes a total of 253 deaths and 417 serious injuries related to drowning incidents since May 2012. The document calls for Phuket officials to assist local lifeguards to create a unified professional lifeguard force for the island. Only then, they say, will the grisly drownings, jet ski accidents, vessel collisions and snorkelling deaths begin to recede. Responding to a Facebook posting over the weekend, the Deputy Agricultural Minister Tamanap Prompao is embroiled in yet another controversy. The minister admitted today that his assistant met a man who was reported to be hoarding face masks, but he denied they discussed the mask trade. The post alleged that Tamanat's close aide had a hoard of 200 million medical face masks for resale to China. He said on his own Facebook page there was a man hoarding masks for sale, but emphasised he had no connection with the man who he named. But he did admit that his aide met the man at the Marriott Hotel in Pratnam, Bangkok. Tamanat, also known as Manat Boblom, was convicted of conspiring to import heroin to Australia in 1994 and sentenced to six years imprisonment. He served four years, then was deported upon his release. Tamanat continues to deny the conviction and claims he never confessed to the charges. And finally, Thailand Energy Minister says he's trying to lower the burden of the high electricity bills around Thailand in response to the impact of the coronavirus outbreak. The Energy Minister says he's been meeting with related electricity agencies today, including the Energy Regulatory Commission, to discuss the issue. If approved, there'll be a three-month-long measure and it will be implemented as soon as possible. The Ministry is also studying ways to lower the price of cooking gas, petrol and diesel. Well, that's it for today's Thailand News Today. Please subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again tomorrow with some more news around Thailand on Thailand News Today.